Have you heard of glucose before? Glucose or blood glucose is just another way of talking about your blood sugar. Put simply, your blood sugar levels tell you about the concentration of glucose in your blood. So how does your body get this glucose? Well, in certain situations, it can make its own. But in most cases, the glucose that your body uses comes from the foods that you eat. And glucose doesn't just come from added sugar that you might be eating. It comes from any carbohydrate containing food, including fruits, grains, and even starchy vegetables. After you eat, this glucose is released into your bloodstream. Your cells can then use this highly prized sugar as an energy source to support thousands of life-sustaining functions. Really, every single function. But what if you don't need to use all the glucose from your meal right away? Your liver and skeletal muscles are there to help out. They allow glucose to be stored as something called glycogen. Glucose can also be converted to fatty acids, which travel around your body and can be stored as fat. So what actually happens after you eat when your glucose levels are on the rise? Your body releases a hormone called insulin. Specifically, your pancreas releases this hormone. And insulin helps glucose move from the blood into the cells where it can be used for energy. Insulin will also help glucose be stored as glycogen or even as fat if you have too much. Basically, insulin helps glucose get to wherever it's going. But who really decides if glucose is used right away or if it gets stored as glycogen or fat? There are many factors that help decide the fate of glucose. These can include your physical activity, your overall energy needs, your family, genetic, and medical history, and even other hormones. As you move, your muscles use glucose for energy. They can also break down stored glycogen as fuel. And that's that. As you can probably tell, understanding how your glucose works is critical for supporting a healthy lifestyle.